Forget everything you know about God of War Ragnarok and tell us what this story angle tells you about Sindri. Sindri was first featured in God of War in 2018 and has a considerably larger role in the sequel, helping the heroes on their adventure rather than simply improving their armor and weaponry. He worked closely with the other heroes in God of War Ragnarok, especially Tyr, the Norse god of war. But at the end of God of War Ragnarok, Tyr revealed that he was truly Odin, the game's main antagonist. He assumed Tyr's appearance to manipulate the heroes and exposed his true identity after he collected all of the components of a mask he was obsessed with. Sindri's brother Brock was suspicious of Tyr, leading the Allfather to kill him. Sindri, outraged at his brother's murder, blamed the gods he formerly considered his allies for his loss. Throughout Kratos and Atreus's quest, he had given them so much only to lose Brock, the person he loved the most. So it seemed fair that he smashed Odin's soul stone and started to hate Kratos and Atreus. But there was so much more to it. Sindri was never the one who would keep grudges with his best friend Atreus. He was empathetic and would realize that it wasn't entirely his fault. But Sindri acted completely opposite to it. He told Atreus to fuck off and just disappeared from the Nine Realms and only made an appearance at the time of Brock's funeral. This was because when Odin entered their house, he had a much bigger plan than just acting as Tyr. A contingent plan if he loses against Kratos and Ragnarok. He made Sindri his pawn and decided to kill Brock in front of him so that it would seem realistic that he hates everyone after it and is able to safely disappear. But he comes back just at the right time, when Odin's soul is captured in a stone and breaks it. It looks like he did it out of revenge, while in reality, he did it to free him from it and transfer it to his hammer. Remember when Fenrir's souls went inside Atreus's knife? The same thing happened here as well. Now Sindri is on the mission of giving Odin's soul a new body, preferably Sindri himself. So we assume that his role in the next DLC game of Atreus would be similar to that of Freya. He would start as an antagonist out for revenge. But when Atreus would realize what's really going on and that Sindri is actually being mind-controlled by Odin, he will find a way to save him. After this, the two will face off Odin alone without the help of Kratos and then finally end up in the Egyptian mythology where the next main game would be set. How does that sound? Any take on this theory is welcome in the comments. See you next time.